Okay, this is going to be how to make porridge in the Fistler. I think that's a 5 litre or 6 litre. I can't remember now. You'll need some nice uh, rolled oats, sugar if you want to put sugar in, a wee bit of salt, milk. I prefer the full fat milk, but somebody's got the semi skim, so we only need one of these. Put it on the supply base already. So first of all, first of all, we'll put some water in the basin for the pressure cooker. Right, that's min, and we'll get the heat on that. This is a protein scoop, and I think it has around 30 grams in it. So we'll make it up to close to what we think is important. Pitch of salt. Get my hand through it. A spoon. Sugar. You don't have to put the sweetener in, you can just have the salt in and then put the sweetener in at the end if you want any. I know some people like just the salty porridge, but I like it sweet and I would normally put honey or something on it at the end. Put in 100 ml of milk and 100 ml of water and then give it a stir. Just to make sure you get into the edges. Because of the chemical changes that occur under pressure, it all it's like it all gets pushed in, soaked up and pushed in. This is actually the middle ring of the gas cooker I'm on. There is a bigger one here which is heating up quicker, but then we'd have to move it over here. We just want just something quick to sit on. This acts like uh, kind of a trivet, just keeping the bottom of the pan just off the bottom of the pressure cooker. Throw that in, turn this round like so, it's easier to handle than this. So now we've got the gas turned up on this ring as high as it'll go, and we're waiting for the top of the pan to see. and there's a tiny bit of steam escaping from here but I'm going to turn the gas off. Okay, there's only 40 seconds to go and we've just seen the last bit of white on the second white indicator so I've put the gas back on just for a few seconds. Okay, we're at zero and we're going to put 10 on it. 10 minutes, the gas is switched off and now we're just going to leave it for 10 minutes. So overall, you've got your heat up time, you've got your 6 minutes cooking, 10 minutes of natural release. Okay, 20 odd seconds left. That steam indicator has just gone off the first white one, so I'm guessing there's still going to be some steam in there after our 10 minutes of natural release. So, timer's on. Five seconds, so I'll switch that off before it beeps. And then this is us going to release the remaining steam by pressing this handle in. And the steam will come out of these valves on like, uh, either side. Like so. Get rid of any excess water. It is warmish, but you can lift it out, no problem. Lid off, careful on it. Don't drop any water back in it. See what's happened there? Something has happened. Ah, uh, you know what it is? It must have been leaning over to one side. There was more moisture over here than there was over here. So it couldn't have been quite flat, but hasn't really caused any major issues. Now, I don't know if you can tell, you obviously can't taste it, but the consistency of this is like, like a really nice rice pudding, which I actually haven't 
managed to get it like that, cooking it on the stove top, the texture and the taste, uh, I don't think you can beat it. I don't know any other way of making a porridge. I know they have national porridge making championships every year, so I'd suggest whoever enters that, use a pressure cooker. So that's it, that's how you make brilliant porridge using your Ecovana pans in a Fisla pressure cooker.